Today is the semi-official first day of the rest of my life. You may or may not be wondering what I mean by that, but I will tell you. Um, so I went and had a full blood panel done a week or so ago. <clears throat> I was trying to figure out, you know, I've been experiencing a lot of rapid cycling, like ultradian cycling, basically, if you don't know what that is. In bipolar disorder, uh, there is a course specifier called rapid cycling that you would put at the end of a diagnosis, like bipolar one with rapid cycling. Or, uh, you know, like uh, another course spec specifier would be like mixed mania, bipolar one with mixed mania. Um, oh, shit. So that's actually kind of what I've been dealing with is the mixed episodes, the mixed mania while rapid cycling. But aside from just rapid cycling, you have ultra rapid cycling. You know, with rapid cycling, it's like four or more episodes, you know, two, two depressive episodes and two manic episodes within a year's time. Ultra rapid cycling, it is like month to month. Your mood state completely changes month to month. Then there's ultra, ultra rapid cycling, UURC, or also called ultradian cycling, <clears throat> which is just that there's, there's no telling. Like you could change two times in a day. And you know, a lot of people argue that it's mood lability. Um, that it's not a complete mood state change, but um, as someone who experiences it and knows the symptoms of both depression and mania or hypomania, um, I, I beg to differ. Um, you know, sometimes I don't exactly know what's going on in my brain, and sometimes the cycles are hard to differentiate. Uh, you know, knowing the difference between a euthymic state and a hypomanic state sometimes can be, uh, it can be a little tricky. And uh, euthymic states, basically, it's almost like a period of normality. It's where uh, you, you're not depressed and you're not really manic or hypomanic, but you know, it is hard to tell the difference between hypomania and uh, euthymic periods if you know you have, if it, well, A, if you're rapid cycling or ultra rapid cycling, and B, uh, if you have extended periods of depression, um, because when you come out of it, you know, you don't know if you're going into a, a hypomanic episode or if you're going into a euthymic episode. But anyway, so, you know, my, my psychiatrist thought, hey, maybe with the severity of these mixed episodes and the frequency of, you know, the cycling, perhaps there is something physically going on with me that could be, that could be triggering this shit. You know, like, uh, perhaps, uh, you know, there's something going on with my thyroid or endocrine or, you know, whatever. Something in my, in my shit was making my shit fucked up. Well, so we did a full blood panel test of all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, the news I got back yesterday was, uh, very unpleasant. Uh, I mean, I guess it, it's not really that surprising given my uh, caffeine addiction and my sweetness addiction. Like, I love candy. I love sodas. I love energy drinks. Um, you know, I live for that shit. Because, um, you know, I don't I don't drink or do drugs. <clears throat> you know, I don't even smoke. I vape. You know, but I don't... I don't really have any vices except for caffeine and sugary drinks and foods. Like, I love donuts. But, um... Not actual, yeah, I do love actual donuts, but like donut sticks, like the little Debbie one, the donut, they used to be called Dunkin' Sticks, but I think maybe they ran into some legal repercussions because of Dunkin' Donuts, or maybe it's just a Mandela effect, I don't know, but anyway, so, you know, they tell me that my blood pressure and my cholesterol level are both dangerously high, and that right now I am borderline diabetic. Now, of course, this... That's not what I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear that, hey, you're fine. This is just, you're crazy. We're going to put you on some more medication. Maybe get you back into therapy. But no, like, 
I've got to do X amount of exercise per week. I've got to get my weight down. I weigh right now more than I have ever weighed in my entire child or adult life. Like, ever in my life, I have never weighed this much. Um, and I mean, to me, I don't really feel like I, I, I'm overweight or that I weigh that much, but apparently, uh, you know, according to the BMI or wh whatever it is, uh, like, I, I need to lose weight. And you know, it kind of makes sense because I do get a little winded when I'm trying to put my shoes on. So, that's embarrassing. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you know, I've got to do a complete overhaul of... Did I just pass my fucking turn? God damn, please, please. Okay, no, no, no. Is this... Okay, no, no, no. It's the next slide. Okay, cool. So, um... Yeah, I've got to do a complete overhaul of my lifestyle. And the thing is, is like my job is not helping at all. Um, I mean, not that they don't, you know, know my situation and, you know, are understanding to it. I mean, it doesn't help as in there's a lot of toxic factors in my job that I deal with constantly that send me spiraling out moment to moment. And it's, it's absolute hell. It's like, it feels like I'm being punched in the head repeatedly. Like, I can't focus. I stall out. Like, it's just... It's fucking awful. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for these factors, it, it would be a decent job. Like, the money's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, the hours sometimes are good. Sometimes fucking suck. Um, but... You know, it's not like it's an incredibly difficult job. It's something that I can do. And, you know, when it's not crazy, the structure is good for me. But too often, now, it's becoming crazier and crazier and harder and harder to deal with. And I, I'm not feeling that. Like, it's making me, like... So yesterday, I had to increase the dosage. You know, my psychiatrist increased the dosage of one of my medications and then put me back on, uh, you know, lithium, which I haven't been on in like 25 years, so, um, yeah, I, I'm just, uh, I'm kind of all over the place, but, so now I'm on my way to the store to purchase, uh, some like waters and, you know, sugar-free drinks, some kind of energy that, you know, I can have to get my caffeine in the morning, to get my day going, uh, to have something sweet to drink during the day that doesn't have sugar or calories. Uh, I gotta get some salads, you know, because I gotta cut out processed food. So I gotta get, like, some healthy shit. And I, I have no experience with this. You know, I, I don't know how to adult correctly. I, you know, I've spent my entire life just trying to figure out this fucking illness and how to deal with it and how to not kill myself. So, like, I'm, I never, you know, I self-medicated the majority of my life and I was just like, I don't even know, like, this is, this whole, like, responsible and healthy shit is, is not for me, I mean, it is now, obviously, but, you know, I don't, I don't have any information, I don't have any resources, I don't know how to do this, so, uh, fuck, Publix is over there, why am I in the left fucking turn lane, shit, god damn, somebody's turning behind me. Fucking heck. God damn, now cars are coming. Fuck me. Fuck me. And, I, and it was just real huge right there. I should have seen it. I don't know how I fucking missed it. This is some bullshit. Alright. But yeah, so... I did some research on certain drinks on lines. On lines. Like there's more than one internet. Uh, well, I guess technically. If you count the deep web, the dark web, the shadow web. Anyway, getting off track. Um... Yeah, so I did some research uh, <coughs> on the interweb for some different kinds of drinks that I could have that were like sweet but not, you know, uh, sugar sweetened or like sucralose sweetened stuff that's like stevia or whatever. So I found a few like really awesome drinks and I wanted all of them. Um, so I looked into where I could buy them locally. So I was trying to find one store that would carry all of them so I didn't have to go to like two or three different stores because I knew it might be uh, a bit tricky being that uh, 
you know, these are like competitive kind of drinks, you know, and maybe stores would be contractually obligated to not have certain drinks if they're carrying another one. Um, you know, so I had to do the research and try, oh, there's a GNC. I should probably go there. But, um, you know, so I was trying to find a store that did, in fact, carry everything I needed. And uh, I found one, which happened to be Publix. And I have never been to a Publix in my city. The only Publix I've ever been to was in, uh, like, somewhere in Florida, like, when I was a teenager. So, oh, they said Harris Teeter has it, too. And this, is about, this Harris Teeter carries both of them. Okay, so this goddamn Publix is huge. Huge! Oh my god. This is magnificent. Now if I can just make this left fucking turn before any cars come at me. Okay. And I did it. I made the left turn. Now I'm turning right into fucking Publix. But there's my bank. Okay, holy shit. Elevators to Publix. What? Additional lower level par parking. Additional lower... What? What? Lab core? What? This is crazy. I didn't know. It's so big they got a motherfucking parking deck. This is awesome. And I see if I can just find a decent parking space. Uh, those are all handicapped. I mean, I, I do have a disability. Oh, right here. Damn, this is nice. Ooh, this is a nice spot. I'll take it. Fuck yes, Damien. I'll just straighten up a little bit. God, there's like a lot of space between the cars and shit. This is nice. Alright. So I'm stuck for now. Elevators to get to it. And there's like... This is, this is wild. Alright, so... I'm assuming that's up. Oh, shit. Going up. Really? Yes, going up. Publix. Okay, so this place was uh, it's pretty awesome. I got uh, a lot of really healthy stuff. I got a lot of salads. Got some uh, bunch of stuff. Dude, it's just uh... all right. This was a uh, this was a pleasant experience. I enjoyed this very much. All right, now now we are at my vehicle. Okay, so that was an incredibly interesting experience. I literally just spent like over a hundred dollars on healthy stuff, which, you know, realistically I needed to do, it needed to happen. Um, it was funny cause you know, I'm like checking out and you know, and they're helping me unload my cart and, uh, like, Hey, it looks like, uh, you're eating pretty healthy. And I'm like, yeah, I got some really bad news from the doctor yesterday. And they're like, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is just kind of funny. And I don't know why I'm going the way I'm going back, but I'm going this way. And that just happened. But, uh... Yeah, okay, so Publix was a nice experience. Uh, I was under the impression that um, it wasn't as expensive as it is, but it's like Harris Teeter kind of expensive. Um, so I wasn't wasn't very happy about the prices, but they did have a good selection of stuff that I normally don't see other places like Food Lion. So that was cool, but the stuff they did have that I normally would get at Food Lion was like, you know, upwards of a dollar or two more, which was depressing. But normally, I mean, luckily I wasn't getting any of the stuff that I normally would get at Food Lion, like, you know, all the processed bullshit that I've been eating for years because I suck at life. But, um, yeah, you know, I got some salads, some pre-made salads from the, the little area where they do that. And I got some sliced apples to snack on because I normally snack on like 
uh, combos and cheese its and shit like that. But you know, I figured sliced apples, you know, good, right? Right? Healthy? You know, I'm, that's what I hope. Um, but I got a, a shit ton of water. Um, I got like some of that Zevia drink. I got some of that Bai drink. However you pronounce it. Uh, you know, I got like zero shit that's like sweetened with stevia. Um, because you know, I need that shit. Uh, and I got, you know, I'm weaning myself off. I'm, I'm this isn't like that's why I said earlier when I said semi official first day. You know, I still have three cans of amp left. I can't, I just, I can't let that go just like that. I'm gonna have to wean myself down. So I got. I also got a couple cans of sugar-free, the Zero, Zero Everything Monster. I don't even like Monster, but you know this is a this is it's not necessarily a gradual process, but you know it's it can't be an immediate process. Um, so you know I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, but uh, you know I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and the ironic part is, I want to die. You know, I don't, I don't want to live. But, you know, I don't want to take the chances of, you know, all this shit that's wrong with me not killing me and just ultimately causing me uh, years and years of, of pain and suffering because I, I fucked up, you know, <laughs> and didn't know how to take care of myself. So I'm going to, right, here I am, I'm going to, what the fuck is going on? What the light is? Are you are you waiting for a particular shade of green to go? So yeah, I, I think I'm gonna do a really uh, a pretty in depth, pretty comprehensive video on bipolar disorder uh, very soon. You know, I I, I want to try to have some maybe some other people besides myself in it. Like find some other people with bipolar disorder willing to be in my video. Like I know a few other people that are bipolar that would probably maybe hopefully be willing to be in it um i know several people with bipolar who uh we've already lost uh you know that that happens that's a common occurrence with people that suffer from bipolar disorder you know like 20 percent don't make it um but you know i want to do more mental health awareness kind of stuff on this channel aside from just being you know, doing funny, ridiculous, pointless shit. You know, I wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna do something good. You know, I'd like to quit my job, honestly, and get into like, you know, maybe substance abuse counseling or like, you know, something where I'm actually making a difference in people's lives, like actually doing something good, like bringing kindness and understanding and, you know, helpfulness, rebuilding into the world. I want to do something good, you know? I feel like, you know, ultimately that could, like, make me maybe feel even better about myself. Maybe aid in helping with the depression. And I gotta figure out how the fuck to exercise. How do you do that? What even is that? Like, I see people posting on Instagram, like, gym pictures and, like, what? What? How? Ah. Oh. Like, you know, just going up and down the stairs in my own apartment is challenging. God, I'm just... I don't know what to do. Help. Help me, please. I need help. Someone help me. I'm feeling all kinds of sad right now. I'm going to have to basically throw everything that's in my refrigerator currently away to make room for all of the new stuff. And it's not even really like I got that much. I got like, I think, eight pre-made salads. I got a, a spinach and artichoke quiche. And not even a whole quiche, it's just two slices. But, you know, I got the sliced apples and I got some like rice cake snacks. Um, you know, I figured that's a, that's a healthy start. And then, um, I don't know. I don't fucking know. 
Ooh, I wonder if they cleaned up the dumpster in my apartment because the dumpster looks like fucking ass. Like there, I'm I'm gonna include a picture because I took a picture the other day when I was you know I was leaving to, to go do something and I saw the dumpster and I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Why am I paying you know like ten dollars a month in trash fees when I have to walk my trash to the dumpster from my building? And, you know, I get there and there's no place to fucking put it. Like, why are they charging me? I mean, that's fucking bullshit. You know, it wasn't like this always. It wasn't until this new management company bought the fucking apartments. You know, and like everybody that worked there that I liked, the people that I was used to, the people in the office who knew me, by name and always smiled when I came in and were really cool were all gone as soon as this new company took over they were all out I don't know if they all got fired or if they quit because they knew some shady shit was up and they didn't want their fucking names you know associated with that I don't know I don't know what happened but you know it's uh dude this place sucks now and they increased my rent by, like, you know, with all the extra fees, the water and the garbage and the pest control and all this shit. Like, my rent went up almost $100 a month. It's already gone up over 100 since I moved in. So now, realistically, it's closer to, like, $200 a month that it has gone up. 200 a month. A month since I fucking moved in and you know the one of the ladies in the office you know I, I told her I was like this is uh this really sucks like I'm not digging this like I don't want to live here but I can't afford to move right now and uh she was like well you know the you can't get a one bedroom apartment in this city cheaper than $835 and I was like are you out of your fucking mind I'm like we're in North Carolina Yes, you can. There are plenty of one-bedroom apartments in this city that are under $835 a month. I was like, there are plenty that are under $700 a month. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you're going to try to justify raising my rent on this shitty apartment as much as you have because there are other apartments in the city that are more expensive? Like, that's fucking stupid. Like, and it was weird to sign a six-month lease was cheaper than to sign a 15-month lease. It's usually the other way around. Like, the leasing prices that they had broken down were so fucking stupid. Like, I just, I'm in a loss for words. Like, you know, in, in a couple of months... Yeah, and if I want to move, I've got to give a 60 days notice, and I've got to pay, like, $1,300? Like, oh, God damn. Because, you know, I mean, aside from paying the $1,300 to get out of the fucking lease, then, you know, i got to pay uh, first and last month's rent and security deposit on a new place. So, you know, all together, you know, I'm, I'm looking at, like, two grand or more to be able to to move, which, uh, you know, fucking sucks, you know, yeah, it'd definitely be over two grand, because first, first and last month's rent on a place that's like seven fifty a month, you know, that right there is fifteen hundred dollars, you know, and then plus the security deposit, which is probably another seven hundred, you know, or, you know, whatever, and then the thirteen hundred to get out. This God, it'd be real fucking expensive. You know, I'm not a famous fucking YouTuber. I don't, I don't make a shit ton of money. Like, oh God, I'm fucking mad. Anyway, so I'm, I'm home now, and I'm sad. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all my fucking groceries in, and you know, whatever. So yeah, that was my day. Uh, you know, I woke up this morning feeling sick as fuck. You know, my stomach was just 
not responding well to the increased dosage and the new medication combination. It, uh, it was a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the bathroom. But yeah, you know, then, you know, I slept a little more and, you know, got up and kind of felt sad about my situation. And uh, as you saw, I went to Publix and got a bunch of stuff to uh, try to change my situation. Um, I'm going to try to bring the cholesterol and the blood pressure and the sugar and all that shit down. Exercise, lose some weight, uh, get relatively healthy again, or try to at least get healthy or die trying. Um, I don't know. This is uh this has been uh, an interesting day, an interesting experience. Um, but hey, look, I'm back. I'm back on YouTube. Uh, sorry, I've been away. I mean, I don't know if anybody actually cares or not, but you know, I mean, I, I I've I've been all over the place mentally, and it's just been impossible. And aside from just not having time, just not having the motivation or the the. The creative juice like I mean I just I have not been able to make videos and I, I felt guilty about that for some reason but you know I'm I'm back <laughs> I hope kind of uh, I guess only time you shall tell uh, but thank you if you've made it this far and uh, suffered with me uh, I appreciate it I appreciate you greatly thank you and uh, hopefully just stick around for the next video. Turn your notifications on. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I've got a ton. Uh, I'm lying. I don't have a ton of videos coming. Uh, I've got ideas. And hopefully they will come to fruition and form a video and get to you soon. So again, thank you.